Who are the nicest celebrities that shine brightest, not on the red carpet, but in real life? The coolest? Yeah. Brad Pitt was cool. Brad Pitt was super cool. Let's start with Post Malone, whose hilarious kindness when meeting fans is just one reason why almost everybody sees him as a nice celebrity. Take, for example, the time he gave his $5,000 guitar to a fan after a concert. Yay! It's like a $5,000 guitar, so you have to promise me. Guitars. And you need to promise me you're going to take care of it, okay? Okay? Going to love and or the time when he asked his fan this. Did you draw this? This is awesome. Oh Thank you. Cool hat. Not only is this man a whole vibe at concerts, but his vibes also extend to real life when interacting with paparazzi. Boss, I want you to know that I, I really like your music. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, that means definitely. a lot to me. Honestly. <laughs> He's truly a nice guy to his fans. Thank you. Yeah, of course, man, of course. Just observe how humbly he describes himself. I'm super simple. I need a beer, I need cigarettes, and then a little bit of beer pong. The way he treats people, the interviews I've seen, so respectful. He's so kind and seems so humble. Beautiful qualities. Posty, you're such a beautiful person inside and out. I agree with you, Posty, being nice and kind, every human being in the world, because we deserve. And as we all deserve kindness is just one reason why Robin Williams was such a hilarious and personable man. He was a charity spokesperson and advocate for sobriety, which made him a truly nice celebrity in real life. The article, The Nicest Actors in Hollywood, referred to a Reddit thread entitled, Nicest Celebrity You Ever Met. A fan says, I played paintball with Robin Williams and made it a point to run straight to his bunker and shoot him right in the face. He was going to be my prize. He was a good sport about it and spent the rest of the day giving me a running commentary slash riff track on the game as it progressed. Really nice guy considering I just shot paint into his face. Although losing Robin Williams in 2014, we have other celebrities like Ryan Gosling to maintain this wholesome positive vibe. If we weren't totally sure that he was a real person, we think he's like a perfect cartoon character. He's not just a great actor and director, he's also really nice and kind of like a superhero. In 2012, someone filmed him stopping a fight on the street, and later that year, he saved a woman from getting hit by a car. On her Twitter account, British journalist Lori Penny says that Gosling pulled her back as she was about to walk into the street and nearly got hit by a taxi because she was looking in the wrong direction. I literally, literally, just got saved from a car by Ryan Gosling. Literally. That actually just happened. Shortly after that, she included more details. I was crossing 6th Avenue in a new pink wig, not looking the right way because I am from London. Ryan Gosling grabbed me away from a taxi. He also displays his genuine warmth by stopping to take selfies with fans. While Shaquille O'Neal goes even further, defining another form of kindness for his fans. In an interview with People Magazine, O'Neill revealed his passion for random acts of kindness. I try to make every day a meaningful moment for a fan, and especially a kid. A lot of people describe it as giving back. I describe it as doing what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to help those in need. If I'm somewhere and see somebody's needing something, I'll take care of it. But Shaq wasn't always so kind. In 2011, he hit a low point. He retired from basketball, got divorced, and felt lost about his future. Years later, he reflected on his mistakes, saying, I never talked about this, and I'm glad you guys are asking because I don't mind talking about that, but I was bad. Uh, she, was, she, was, she was awesome. From then on, Shaq dedicated himself to becoming a better person. You, you, you start to feel it, you know, but I said to myself, get your ass up, man up, let's go. What you gonna do next? Because, you know, may not be a husband, but I'm always be a father. He not only became a great dad to his kids, but also became wonderful to his fans, creating such wholesome moments like this when a little fan just wants to hug him. Yeah! Oh, or when he visited Gainesville to share his appreciation for the viral moment. He played a game with some police officers and kids. Shaquille O'Neal truly exemplifies humility 
But when it comes to ultimate humility, Adam Sandler is right up there too. From his wacky outfits to strolling around New York City eating a jar of pickles, Adam Sandler never stops showing us how down to earth he is. In May 2021, after being spotted at an IHOP, he acted like any regular person when told there'd be a 30 minute wait, he just left. The hostess didn't recognize him at the time, so she later posted a video on social media apologizing. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everyone at my job was like, there's no way you didn't recognize him. And now I know, I should have. Sandler responded with a typical funny tweet saying, for the record, I only left the IHOP because the nice woman told me the all you can eat deal didn't include milkshakes. Even though fans were amazed for a different reason. I heard this story on the radio, LOL. I love it when famous people act like the rest of us. While Adam's fans aren't the only ones to speak highly of him. I remember sitting, my son was born. I remember he called me, he said, Terry, I heard you just got a baby. I got another job for you. Forget the flowers and the gifts. Yeah. I got jobs for you. That That's is, my that man.